How do scientists calculated the speed of light? The first successful measurement of the speed of light was performed in the 17th century by a Danish astronomer named Ole Romer. Romer was studying the moons of Jupiter, particularly the four largest ones that are now known as the Galilean moons. He observed that the moons appeared to move around Jupiter at different speeds, depending on their position relative to Earth. Romer hypothesized that the reason for this variation in speed was due to the time it took for the light from the moons to reach Earth. To test his hypothesis, Romer made careful observations of the timing of the eclipses of the moons as they passed behind Jupiter. He noticed that the times of these eclipses varied by up to 11 minutes over the course of a year, depending on the relative positions of Earth and Jupiter in their orbits around the Sun. Romer realized that this variation in timing could be explained by the time it takes for light to travel from Jupiter to Earth. When Earth is moving towards Jupiter, the distance between the two planets is shorter, and the light from the moons reaches Earth sooner than when Earth is moving away from Jupiter. Using his observations of the timing of the eclipses and his knowledge of the orbits of Jupiter and Earth, Romer was able to estimate the speed of light to be about 220,000 km per second, which is only slightly off from the modern value of about 299,792 km per second. Later, in the 19th century, French physicist Hippolyte Fizeau used a rotating toothed wheel to measure the speed of light. A beam of light was directed at the wheel, and as the wheel rotated, it alternately blocked and allowed the light to pass through. The light passing between teeth of that wheel was then projected to a mirror at a distance of about 8 kilometers, where it was collected and then reflected back to the point of origin. The rotational speed of the wheel was then increased until the returning light was blocked by the tooth on the wheel just adjacent to the space through which it had passed. Which means that, that the light needs time to travel 8 kilometers twice equals the time needed to rotate the wheel by one tooth. He was able to calculate the speed of light to be approximately 315,000 kilometers per second, which was within about 5% of the modern accepted value. Modern methods for measuring the speed of light use lasers and highly precise timing devices. One such method is the time of flight method, which involves directing a laser pulse at a distant mirror and measuring the time it takes for the light to make the round trip. This time is measured with nanosecond accuracy, allowing the speed of light to be calculated to within a few meters per second.